Hello, hello, hi, it's Tiffany Satchel. Okay, so you know that I'm in Virginia Beach right now. I'm having a ball, I'm having a ball. This is the first night that we're here. We're here for the What is Beauty Movement um, retreat. Okay, so I'm waiting for for some of the ladies to come. Some of them, some of them have already arrived and they went sightseeing. They haven't come back yet. So I was like, you know what? Let me go live and teach and share with you guys um, the techniques that I have been using to attract money. Okay, so like I said before, attracting money is easy when you consider it as an energy exchange instead of bunches of green pieces of paper. All right. Money stands for my own natural energy yield, all right, which means that each of us has a core frequency to attract more than enough money into our experience individually, all right, because of our core frequency. So if you want to attract more money into your experience, you're going to have to practice, practice, practice attracting money. And you can attract money anytime that you like. For whatever you like, you just need to learn some techniques to work with to get you on the right track. So that's why I'm here. All right. I am a whole life wealth coach. All right. And I use EFT in my practice with my clients and also in my own life. All right. To attract money and to also and to also um, attract experiences all right because really that's really what we want all right it's not really the money that we want what we really want is the experience all right so that's so that's what you really want to key in on all right but this is about money all right so i do go in depth with these steps in my coaching program eft for wealth but i'm going to teach you the six steps that i use all right and um because i want to help you all right i want to help someone all right and these are also these t t these techniques are also up on my youtube channel all right and um so you can go there and you can and you can start you know you can start tapping away all right right on youtube right now if you want to all right thank you for the likes thank you for the likes thank you all right and or and we also learn these techniques in our enlightenment circle all right and just so that you know it is open all right our membership is open all right so um step number one okay thank you for the likes hey evelyn hey arthur okay um step one is set a clear intention all right now this is like the most important thing that you could do is to set a clear intention all right so how much money do you really want and you want to be realistic and you want to be specific okay so you want to use numbers that 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 aren't going to freak you out all right, that's what you want. You want to use, you want to actually, when I say realistic, numbers that's not going to freak you out. So here's a roundabout number that we use, that we play around with in the enlightenment circle, $1,000, all right? So most people could, most people have had $1,000 in their hands. It's just how fast can you get it coming into your experience, all right? Are you getting $1,000 a month? Are you getting $1,000 a week? Are you getting $1,000 a day? So you can play around with that, all right? And I go more in depth with that in my coaching program, okay? And then number two, you'll need to express thanksgiving and appreciation, okay, for everything that you already love about your life. If nothing is right right in your life right now, okay, if that's how you feel, then just be thankful that you can breathe, that you can walk, that you can talk, that you have children, okay, because this is some of the things that some people just don't have, all right, that you can actually use, all right, to, you know, regardless of what your conditions are, regardless of what your situation are, you can use these things to be thankful. I do it all the time, thankful for my cat, you know what I mean? <laughs> when you do that, you know, just, just harnessing the, um, the energy of appreciation actually brings abundance into your life, you know, but you got to practice it, practice it. And you have to be conscious when you're doing it with the intention. Okay. That's, you have to, you have to be, you have to be conscious of your intention. All right. So now here's a tip. Okay. I'm going to give you a tip. When I removed the word gratitude from my vocabulary, everything changed. All right. That's the, that's the tip. I do not say I'm grateful for anything. I say I'm thankful and appreciation. And once I stop saying the word, now I'm not saying that everyone should do that. I'm just saying it's um one minute to eleven eleven. Okay. Um, I'm just saying that 
some people energy is wired different ways and the the vibration of appreciation and the vibration of gratitude are two different vibrations all right they really really are appreciation thanksgiving and love is one vibration gratitude is under it all right and i go in depth in that in my um in my coaching program okay okay and like i said when i remove the word gratitude from my vocabulary everything changed all right and it might so i'm saying i'm not i'm just saying that you might want to try that so instead of saying oh i'm so grateful for you or i'm so grateful for that you can say i'm appreciative or i'm thankful for you or i'm appreciative and i'm thankful for that okay so remove the word gratitude and grateful from your vocabulary all right because it might be okay for some to use it but i know it wasn't it's not okay for me to use it so if you're like me then you might have you might need to just forget about even using that word okay in your vocabulary you know you don't have to you know instill that on impose that on others okay you don't have to do all that all right so now here's number three you must already feel wealthy okay money likes money as you can see money like hanging around money right you can see people that have money most of the time like to be around people that already have money all right so you want to do your best to have luxurious experiences so that you can harness the energy of abundance all right so it's a good idea to practice all right releasing the negative energy of unworthiness from your consciousness all right and you want to practice affirmations and mantras all right and i have tons of vids up on my 1111 coach youtube page all right for you to work for you for you to work with all right and they'll, they'll definitely help you okay and um and another way another way that you can do that is you know go get a new wallet go get a nice wallet make sure that you keep your if you have a wallet always keep your wallet up always keep your wallet always keep a nice wallet make sure that your wallet your money is always in a nice wallet once it gets old and raggedy, once it starts getting, you know, messed up, get rid of it and get a new one, all right? That, uh, that, that will also help you to harness in the, um, the money of, a, of, of abundance because that, the, and that's actually number five, okay? Because you'll be showing respect to money, all right? You have to show respect to money, all right? And that's one of the ways that you can do that, all right? You want to use, you, you, you can use the wallet method, all right? So another way is, if your money flow is stagnant and we know if we have a stagnant money flow if it's not just coming in on a continuous basis and we feel contentment with it then that means that you need to rewire your energy okay you you need to rewire your energy so that, so that it can attract money all right and here's one way to do that instead of seeing bills in your mailbox all right instead of like going to your mailbox and be like oh my god i got these bills you want to see them as energy exchanges so like with t-mobile i'm not paying a bill with t-mobile they gave me service and now for that service i'm exchanging cash so that's how you want to look at it. you want to look at everything as an energy exchange and you always want to think in your mind i you know i engage in fair exchanges of energy i engage in fair exchanges of energy all right so no more bills in the mailbox don't look at his bills in the mailbox because that actually it probably most likely it puts you in a state of freak you know in a state of you know a helplessness all right so you don't want to do that when you are paying your bills you want to feel happy you want to feel joyful all right you need to muster up those th those energies because you need to muster up those feelings because you want because you want it to be more of an exchange not not you it's something that you wanted you wanted this service from t-mobile they provided you the service now you're going to give them the exchange which is cash or however that you pay you pay with your credit card pay with bitcoin whatever crypto you know however that you pay this bill you net you need to see it as an exchange you don't have mails bills in your mailbox anymore that's not what you have you have exchanges of energy that are fair you engage in energies and energy exchanges that are fair okay that's important all right and here's the last thing you want to be patient practice makes perfect all right so if you want to learn <clears throat> if you want to learn exactly how to use these steps all right then connect with me all right you want to go to tiffanysatchel.com all right and schedule a 
schedule a session with me. Schedule a complimentary session with me. All right. Okay. So I love you. Put that agape kind of love. All right. Take those steps, implement them into your life, and let me know how they're working for you. All right. Peace. <laughs>